What's happening, my people? So, I'm here to talk to you about this movie, Triple Threat. So, this is something that I don't know how many people have been anticipating this, been looking forward to it. I don't know who's going to be talking about this online. I might be the only one. But, I've been looking forward to this movie for a while. Because of the cast. I figured, like, uh, people that follow my channel and stuff, it might be like-minded individuals. You might like, uh sports and fashion stuff music uh martial arts maybe so if if you were like in the 30 up club you know we grew up on like van damme and stuff like that we we love that kind of stuff so i figure y'all might want to want to hear about this this movie it has tony ja from ongbok it has homeboy let me see his name eco uways from the raid it has to do with Tiger Chin. I'm not familiar with him. He probably has some dope movers or something, but I'm not familiar with him. Michael Bisbin, former UFC champion. Scott Atkins from Undisputed. Uh, Universal Soldier, one of the last ones that came out. And he got some other movies, but Michael J. White, also from Undisputed. Blood and Bones, etc., etc. Bunch of dope martial arts fighters. And I've been looking forward to this for a while. I was like, whoa, that cast is crazy. One thing I was I was look, not looking forward to, I'm like, please don't make it like Michael J. White and then be the bad guys. That's that's one of my favorite fighters, man. I love when he's in a good guy role because his fighting is superb. Of course he's going to be the bad guy in this movie. So, basically, I'm going to give you a little bit of the plot. It starts off, Michael J. White and them, they're like a military personnel. And they're going to free Scott Atkins. He's locked up in this, this uh camp. So you're like, oh, they the good guys. Uh Tony Ja and Tiger Chin, they're the navigation people. They're leading them into the jungle to go free Scott Atkins. So they free Scott Atkins, but then they switch it up. They're like, okay, we're gonna burn everybody. So they're like, whoa. So, they turn on the Chinese people and stuff. Well, not the Chinese people. That's kind of racist. Because they're all different ethnicities and stuff. Because Iko Yue is that he's Indonesian. Tiger Chin is Chinese. And Tony Ja is, uh, is Thai. So, that's part of the triple threat as well. Because it's uh, overseas martial artists but they all from different places i think that's part of triple threat also and it's three people but so they free them they free scott atkins they turn on everybody and eco you from the raid he was a guard at the the base and all his people got murdered so he goes out for revenge and Tony John and them, they want revenge as well because they got double crossed. So all of them wind up surviving. Uh, they go to they, they separate ways. Michael Jai White and Scott Atkins and them, they're on a mission. They, they got to kill this girl. Like she's like a reporter or something. So they're trying to kill this girl and get out of the way to finish up their job. And Tony Jai and them come back in the picture. They meet up with Eco U.A.s. And his first is a dispute and whatever, but then they wind up working together. So it's these two groups against each other. Back in the days when I looked at uh, like martial arts movies and stuff, I'm like, oh, so and so is so cold, nobody can touch him and stuff. Then I got into real fighting. I got into UFC and boxing and stuff like that. And Michael Jai White, Scott Atkins. Michael Bisman. Michael Bisman might be the le the least entertaining out of everybody in the movie. He would murder everybody in the movie. Like Michael J. White, him would he give Michael Bisman a run for his money? I would, from cinema wise, I would I would think like, oh, I think he. Can't. But real realistically, uh, I don't know. I would hope Michael J. White could hang with Michael Bisman, but these little dudes, you see them on film, on the side of Michael Bisman. Michael J. White fighting him, Scott Atkins and stuff. They would get murdered. They would get murdered. But then, other than that, like uh, I want to talk more about the action than the other things in the movie. 
But when it gets into action scenes and stuff, they all, you know, it all balls together and to the end. They, they all start really getting into it. Uh, a lot of the people, man, people are dope in here. But Michael Jai White is a villain. So his fast, fast fighting style, not getting touched, etc. It's not there to a certain extent because he's the bad guy. Scott Atkins, his flipping stuff. He, at first, a lot of people are kind of watered down. Tony Ja from Ong Bak, he's amazing, but he's getting older. Like Tony Ja from Ong Bak isn't Tony Ja now. His face looks different, his hair and stuff, his movements are different. He doesn't fight like he did. And on Ong Bak, like you seen him and he, oh, and he looked like he was killing people with the knees and elbows and stuff. When you watch it on here, it's like. And I'm not going to say it's like bigger individuals. Like they are bigger, but on like, it wasn't on the protector. He fought gigantic dudes, but he was, looked like he was hitting the hell out of them and stuff. He's fighting against like Michael Bisbon and them. He's hitting them, knowing it look like it's with like phase him and stuff. Like people, it's just, he dangling, they dangling on the people's arms and stuff. And he like throwing them across places and, and everything. Eco you it's like, he's dope. But like, Everybody seems watered down. They don't seem as good as they are in their feature movies. Like in the Raid. Raid 1, he was dope. But Raid 2, he was super dope. He's not that as dope in here. He's getting his ass whooped. Tiger Chin, he has like that. That, you know, that Chinese, like a uh, smooth kind of style. Like, he, 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 he But he fighting against Michael Bisman. Like, Michael Bisman giving a run for his money and stuff. Like... It's just funny you seeing it like you get older and then when you learn real fighting and stuff, they would get molly whopped. But it did make a little sense towards the end because like they fought Michael Jai White. Michael Jai White was fucking home ball up. They had to double team it. They wound up fighting Scott Atkins. Scott Atkins was tearing home ball up. They wound up having to double team it. Real life, that's how it would have had to go. They would have to double, triple team the dudes. Like, when you go, it's physics and stuff, man. Like, I'm, I'm a little dude. Like, I think I can beat up people that's way bigger than me and stuff. But when you go realistically and stuff, like somebody that's just as strong as me, just as fast as me and stuff, but then they outweigh me by 100 pounds, they probably kick my ass. So, in my mind, I'm like, I still got a chance. But, nah, they probably fucked me up. <laughs> so, that's how it is in this movie, man. Like, there are some good little fighters, but they're going against good, dynamic, big fighters. Like, Michael Jai White would fuck... Fuck all of them up. Well, except for Michael Bisman. Michael Bisman probably would. I don't know if anybody. I would like to see Michael Bisman in Michael Jai White fight off camera. <laughs> that would would be be uh, great to me. But overall, man, like the cast of the movie is incredible. You see this, you like whoa. But then the fighting and stuff is not up to par with how they usually are. So that is a minus. It's partly due to because you, you can't have everybody super incredible because they it's ensemble cast. And a lot of people have gotten older as well. So that's a little knock on it. But being that it's so many people and so many fights and stuff, that's a plus. Overall, as far as on the martial arts landscape and where the movie falls, I would give it about about a six point five out of ten. Because man, they had so many movies, man. Everybody movies, solo movies are better than this movie together. Like Undisputed is better. Undisputed 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, not 1. Undisputed 2, 3, 4. Undisputed 1 was dope too, but that was Wesley Snipes in Ving Range. But Ong Bak. Ong Bak. Uh, all of them weren't dope, but Ong Bak 1 was... 2 was... Um, and 3 was, three was dope. But uh, The Raid... All those movies were way doper than what this is. Like, it came off like a low-budget, straight-to-DVD movie. I think it's a Netflix movie. But it's it's a good movie. If you are into martial arts and stuff, you need to see this. Because the cast, you got to see everybody on screen together. But as far as the martial arts and grading it and stuff, it's not the, the top martial arts that you usually see on film out of these cats. So that's why I knock it down a little bit. And story-wise and, and stuff is um, predictable as well and stuff, you know. But 
Like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated. Check this movie out. I'm gonna do us later on. I'm going to movies. Watch that about seven o'clock. So I probably have the the review probably be up later because it's gonna take a while to upload. Highlight, boy. Peace out.